All right, welcome back. It's Nick here from Animal Engineering. So today we're gonna to make a start on doing the actual headers for the exhaust system. So I've had this uh, little box of goodness here rock up. So it's actually a Ice Engine Works header modeling kit. So I basically ordered this start of March and it disappeared for a bit. Lost in freight and stuff with all this virus crap going on, I think. But yeah, finally turned up so we can make a start. So as you can see, they're just a whole lot of little blocks. So it comes in a two inch, three inch, four inch, and six inch center line radius. And basically just piece them together. I've done a little one here. So this is a, that's a six inch one. So basically it's got these arrows on the back here, which will indicate uh, your pipe lining up and anywhere where the arrows deviate from each other, don't line up. That's where you cut your pipe and you rotate it to keep it flowing and make all sorts of goodness. So yeah, it comes with um, these little rubber stoppers. So you screw them in, it's got a little uh, allen key there. So you screw that in, that goes into your header, into your uh, flange, and then your plastic box sort of come off that. So, so yeah, we'll start off on the these back four. They're the four that'll um, cross over and go to each side, so do the 180 degree. So I've made these little, made these little standoffs already. So all our modeling will come from them. And yeah, we'll work out these, these back four first and get them crossing over. And then once we're happy with how that is, we'll um, start on the driver side here. So I'm gonna do this side, do the driver side first because we've got the brake booster in the way there. So I'm gonna model this side up first and um, see if we can sneak around that. If we can't, I'll have to uh, ditch that and go to a, a sort of pedal box unit on the floor. So one issue that I do have with these blocks is they come like the two, in the two inch and three inch center line radius. Now the only bends I've done a lot of googling trying to find somewhere in Australia where I could actually get a two inch or three inch centre line radius bends, but all you get is these ones and it seems to be pretty common that they're just one and a half times diameter of the pipe. So it sort of works out these are about 2.6 times centre line radius. And I'm figuring that if I alternate between a two inch and a three inch block, that'll give me roughly a two and a half inch centre line radius, which should be close enough to be able to make these work. So yeah, we'll um, just alternate two inch, three inch, two inch, three inch, and hopefully once it's all modeled up, when I go to transfer it into these bends, it should be close enough to where we can um, just sort of use the blocks as they're supposed to be used to get the correct dimensions for cutting these up. So yeah, we'll start playing around. If anyone out there actually knows in Australia where you can actually buy two inch and three inch center line radius bends, uh, you drop a comment down below, it'll, be, it'll make it a lot easier in the future. There you go, so we've got that. I think that looks pretty good. So two coming 
Two coming from this side. Snaking under. Coming out the bottom here to go to this side. Got these two coming up and over to head that way. So that's, what's that, 18 minutes? So I think that sort of shows the, the, the advantage you use in these modeling blocks. Like if you were just cutting bits of, you know, U, U bends apart and trying to hold them there and work it out and try and route them, it'd, it'd take you a long time. You'd get there. Well, you'd get there eventually, but um, it's just, I think you just waste so much, so much stainless. And these U-bends aren't overly cheap, you know, but so what I've done here, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, so I've tried to keep as many of the arrows in line as possible, making as fewer bends as possible, so it's less welding. So, well this, say so this one here, we've got, that's one, one bend from there to there, and then one more bend here, and then straight, so that's, what's that, one, two, three welds, and that, that bit there. So, you know, it's pretty good. It's a good system. I've seen it years and years ago, and I thought, geez, I'd love to have that. I've never actually built a set of headers, never had any reason to actually buy one. But yeah, so, Started this project, I thought I'd try and make a bit of a different exhaust system and give me an excuse to buy them. So I think I'm fairly happy. I'm pretty happy with how that's come up. I think uh, we'll leave it at that. So pretty much you need Two to go over the top and two to go underneath, otherwise you'll never ever be able to get your headers apart. So you need to be able to make them so one side goes over top of the other, so you can pull that side off, get the other side off, and it's all happy days. So yeah, now I think we'll move on to doing this side. So we'll chuck the uh, flange on, chuck some of the rubber stoppers in, and we'll start heading from that side up and see if we can uh, get around that brakes cylinders there. So yeah, we'll carry on. All right, so there's the driver's side mocked up. See it there, it looks pretty sick, eh? So yeah, now, I just got ran out of the uh, the straight sections here, so I couldn't really do the uh, the front cylinder properly. I sort of just used a whole lot of bends, and you can sort of see it comes up under here and down and around. I'm trying to keep them all as uh, close to the same length as possible as well. But yeah, I guess the next stage now will be just transferring that all over to the bends, cutting them out, and doing them all out of the stainless. So yeah, pretty happy with how it's going. I'll start off with these two. They go off to the middle two cylinders 
And um, once I've done them two, I think I'll probably do the front one. So I'll have to remock that up. Just, it's sort of a, it's a bit messy how it sort of goes down the bottom there. I'm not too sure as yet, but I think I'll do the middle two and then I'll uh, have enough blocks to sort of model up the, the back cylinder and the front cylinder. So yeah, we'll uh, leave it there for this episode, but cheers for watching. And um, next one we'll be making this all nice and shiny. Cheers for watching.